and it's done by. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Fireworks. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, guys, comment below. Do you think this is sunset or sunrise? Let me know what you think. Comment below. I'll give you five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, cool. You know, uh, I, I, this is my fourth night here, and I didn't never got a chance to kind of enjoy the sunsetness of the view here, and um, it's pretty cool. All right, enough view talk. I'm getting hungry. I'm craving some duck, so let's head to the Chinese restaurant downstairs. All right, let's get up. Quack, quack. I heard Blossom, they have a pretty decent duck, so let's go see what's up with that, okay? And just a little heads up for some of us who may have uh, the notion of, hey, Chinese food can't be this expensive. Now, we, you have the right to have those feelings, but at the same time, if you got those feelings, you better also complain about a $100 steak. It looks like they're not open. No, they're open. They're open. Okay. Well, but I don't know if they could take me or not. Uh, it's near the back route room. At least we're on the books. And I did say, hey, can you save me a duck and not run out of the duck? She, and she jot down, save a duck for this guy. All right, y'all. All right, we'll come back in a few hours. All right, made it, finally. Just checked in, and this is the waiting area while they prep your table. To the left, there is a nice little bar area that seats about 15 people. Uh, if you need to down a few oh, shots. Already smell it. <laughs> it smells good. Come in here, thank you. Come in here for the duck. Where's the duck? Do you see the duck? Okay. Hopefully, oh, there's a duck right here. Picking duck. All right, y'all. I figured it out. I'm gonna get the uh, the spicy lobster fried rice. Okay. Let's see how spicy that is, and then. Peking duck, and then you know, I, I want to need some noodles, some standard beef uh, chow mein. No, 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 you know what? I want to get the uh, that one, their house special chow mein. All right, let's see how that goes. Extensive, well thought out menu includes the standards from land, sea, and the sky, and items such as veal cheek. Spacious and open with high ceilings, there's a circular flow to this restaurant with the main dining area at the focus of the circle. Additional tables and private rooms that cater to groups of 10 to 20 are situated on the circumference. Also, Blossom received the Epicurean Award for the best Chinese restaurant in Las Vegas. Anyone wants to join? Because I got moved to a bigger table slash booth uh, in preparation for the duck. Hey guys, uh, this duck is bigger than you guys told me. Uh, I don't know. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Jeez, it has a neck and everything, so I guess we gotta do it, huh? Uh, and then I, she asked me if I wanted to uh, wrap it myself or whatnot. I'm like, you know, oh, Danny, I moved over here. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah. So this is the table side duck service. Uh, they'll carve it up here and get you situated and uh, get you started. Right, I'll try to finish this, guys. Uh, over or under, because I got two more other plates coming out. Uh, and I don't think I could finish it all. So comment below, guys, if you think I, I, I can finish it all or not. All right, one take. Hey, the whole shebang's coming out, guys. Uh, this is a seafood chow mein. This is XO uh, the lobster fried rice, and uh, I don't know. What do you think? So it's good portions. Look, check it out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is the uh, XO lobster fried rice. You know, portions are large. And then I gotta get some noodles in, you know, because uh, noodles, you gotta eat noodles before you gamble because it brings good luck. You know, because it's long and useful. Look, 
This is their house special uh, seafood uh, chow mein. And this is the soft one, not the hard one. Okay. Ooh, that's one. You know what? I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Let me, gotta eat one. Oh yeah. Very flavorful. Tastes like seafood. That's what it's supposed to be. Ooh, wow, that was packed with flavor. It was fresh, it was juicy, and it had that hot off the wok flavor. I'm thinking that was a uh, scallion. Not scallion, scallop. I'm just waiting for the duck. Look, she's, she's got the skin out. Ooh, wee, look at that glistening duck. It looks succulent, it looks plump, it looks juicy, and it looks authentic. I'm just, I wanna get into that. Get the neck and the and and, and whatever you gotta do, right? You get a choice of steamed buns or wraps. I chose both, and let's see how this goes. You know what? In the meantime, let me try some fried rice. Do you know that the portions are larger than it appears? That's a serving spoon, three, four times larger than a regular spoon. The portions are generous, perfect for family-style dining. I just realized that's a serving spoon. Wow, the rice was still hot. Hot off the wok, and it had that wok flavor that just tastes authentic. So she hooked me up with the two buns. And um, yeah, I'm gonna eat one. I washed my hands before this, I was ready. Sauce in there. Oh yeah. The bun, you could taste the, the, I don't know, you know that little alcoholic taste? Maybe it's the yeast, but um, it's beautifully flavored. All right, let me take this thing. One more bite. Everyone knows the rules, right? Hey guys, I made a special request. I've never had the neck before. It's right. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. I'm like, I want to try the neck. She's all, I'm glad you asked because usually they said they just chop it off and don't yeah. bring it out. However, hey, you know, I got to do what I got to do. Um, so what they do is they're going to take this back and they're going to chop it all off and bring it back out ready for me. All right, guys. One take. Thank you. Wow, this... Uh, this fried rice, it's spicy lobster fried rice, and there's bits and pieces of the lobster. And uh, But it's, to me, uh, not too spicy. It's, it's actually not spicy at all. So I'm gonna be asking for a little hot sauce for this, I think. That I think I am. Here's the lobster piece. Let me, I tasted the seafood earlier and it was flavorful, right? Let me taste some of this noodle for you. <laughs> I think I went a little, little extra on that slurping noise. Delicious. A lot of big pieces of seafood. I de definitely recommend that off the bat. Let me taste it. Oh, that's tasty. I mean, it tastes legit, if that makes any sense. All right, y'all, so the main event came down. So they took it back and they carved it all up. And now it's ready to be, uh, ooh. I like big spoons. So they carved, carved it all up and I requested them to bring the neck out also. So I don't know if they did or not, but oh yeah, they brought the necks. This is about 95 bucks or something like that. I mean, come on guys. For Vegas right here on the strip, it's 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 worth it, okay? This or you go to a steakhouse and have a little, you know, 14 ounce ribeye steak. Come on. So that's the lineup. It's all out. Alright, let's try this uh, duck out. 
the one they cut up. Now, I got this piece here and this piece on the sides here. These are the chopped up neck portion, okay? Just keep in mind, I asked for the neck. She said, she said usually they don't just, they don't bring out the neck and they don't bring out the uh, that part, okay? But since I requested it, they brought it out. So let me give it a taste test. Let you know if you guys should do the same. And be careful on these uh, chopsticks. It's top heavy, so it kind of gets lopsided and gets thrown to the ground, which I haven't done yet. Ask for their to go wooden chopsticks. Trust me. And I'll just put this whole thing in my mouth and see where it goes. That is tasty. So the point here is you gotta ask for the neck or else they'll just cut it off and don't bring it out. I guess you could call me Count Doc Gula. I gotta admit, but the neck pieces, they're tasty. So tasty. I'm glad I asked for it. However, it does take some work to eat it, okay? It gets a little gruesome, okay? <laughs> There's like intricate bones in there and whatnot, but uh, I mean, I'm eating by myself, so I could do that. But if you're on a date, I mean, and if you do this in front of your date and she doesn't care or he doesn't care, that's all you. Propose right there on the spot. With the skin intact, let's do it. Ooh, wow. This is uh, delicious. Oh boy. Ooh, oh, oh, God. oh my gosh, I, I lost. I finished at least these, okay? All the buns, like four buns and four wraps, right? Got, got ooh. However, it's almost a full plate of the duck left. I can't. Oh wow, a huge shout out to Reina Huang. If you don't know who she is, she goes around the countries and she eats and eats and eats. She will demolish this. Oh, this could feed, uh, one duck could be shared by like uh, three, four people. For sure, uh, as part of a entree uh, a roster. Uh, yeah, can't do it, can't do it. I, I was too hungry walking in here and uh, got a little bit uh, overboard. I got my little doggy bag. <laughs> this weighs about uh, <laughs> like 10 pounds. Oh boy came out to about the $170 and some change, uh, not including tip. Uh, Blossom, do it, do it, do it. Oh right, y'all, check it out, one take. All right, mission complete, now we could go. That was an awesome meal with perfect service. Give it a try. Oh, thank you. I can enjoy $10 Chinese food, and $100 Chinese food here at Blossom. Just like I can enjoy $10 steak and eggs at Ellis Island and $100 steaks at John George's. All right, y'all, I'll catch you. I'm gonna knock you out. One take. Hey, hey, hey. All right, guess what? I was sleeping, or I was about to kind of take a little sleep for a couple hours before I venture out uh, to the casino floors around eh, maybe 3 or 4 a.m. or maybe 4.30 a.m., but Right when I was like closing my eyes and getting ready, I get a text. Hey, are you in Vegas? I'm like, yeah. And it's from a buddy I haven't seen. Uh, I saw him one time th during COVID, that, that was it. But before COVID, I used to see him on a weekly basis. Uh, he's all, oh, I'm in Vegas right now, but I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm like, dude, why didn't you tell me this earlier? He's all, well, I didn't think about it. But last second, I just thought about you and Vegas. I'm like, he might be out here. So he texted me. So he decided to text me. And here we are. So he's at Bellagio. I'm at Aria. I'm like, all right, I'll get over there. But let me down this before I go over there, just just so it'll wake me up a little bit. No, that makes me sound like an alcoholic. They're probably a little buzz out there. I want to catch up before I get there, if that makes any sense, okay? Because you, I don't want to be the sober guy around drunk folks, okay? All right, y'all, one take. Not one take. I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta. 
Let's shoot this down with you, right? Ready? One, one, two, three. Well, that's good. It took me about 14 seconds to down that whole thing. See? Hey, hey, man. I'm being clowned right here on the slot machine. Oh, now they stop, huh? <laughs> you gotta... Hey. I love it. Love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey. Y'all know I don't come out this early, right? But I came out for this show right here. My good friend here, Carl. <laughs> Ow! That's a nice. All right.